So if you've been working on the clay and it's gone a little bit too dry, um, there's a couple of things you can do to get it back. Um, if it's gone really quite dry, if you wet it in a bucket, put it in a bag, you can wrap it up in the bag for a few hours and it will soften down a bit. Little bits tend to go a bit dry like that. And the clay that's a bit softer, there's an, another thing you can do. You can wet this clay and squeeze it all back together. And you can get some workable then quite quickly without having to wait. And squeeze it into a fat coil shape and then fold it back. Just do that a few times. It's quite messy. Uh, but quite quickly you can get that back into a workable state. And if you squeeze it out like this and fold it back, you're not going to trap any air in there. Yep, I think that's, uh, that's workable again. Stuff in the bag, just um, check it after a few hours and then you can do the same for that. Okay. If you've got clay slop in a bucket, after um, slaking down dry clay, and it's gone, you've tipped off the water and it's been in the bucket for a bit, um, beginning to stiffen up, you can put it onto a porous surface to dry it out, get it back ready to use. And plaster of Paris is the best thing, especially if you're throwing pots and making a lot of sloppy clay. You can put the slot straight onto plaster and then keep an eye on it. It'll start to dry off underneath and you can kind of peel it up, move it around a bit until it's firm enough to take off and knead up. <laughs> 